All right, so we're going to be doing a quick little ditty on institutional order flow. I'm going to be trading against daily bias. Okay, I'm going long here, and it's on the basis of the sell stops or sell side liquidity being taken. We've already traded into a fair value gap around that 4,000 level. And I'm trading with the idea that it could run up here and take out the buy stops above the high of the day. It doesn't need to do that to be profitable. So my draw on liquidity is here. And noting the buy side liquidity will take in Clear profitable shorts. All right. So this is kind of like the the idea. Okay, the draw on liquidity. Now it doesn't need the trade here to be profitable. That's just my best case scenario. So what I want to do now is draw the buy side and sell side liquidity pools. And I'll show you the framework for the logic of why I'm entering where I'm entering it. And I want you to take a look at the chart first and see if you understand what I'm capitalizing on. Pause the video. All right. This here is the sell side liquidity. So the market has dropped below those relative equal lows. I bought those sell stops. So sell side is taken. Okay, so you can see that here. And now what I'm going to target, even though I think it could go, but it may not really get there, it can go to 40, 51 and take out the high of the day. But let's say I'm wrong. What am I going to aim for? This is what I'm going to take the bulk of my position off at. And I got to make this show on top of the line. Okay. And put that on top. All right. So I'm reaching for that. Now, the bulk of my position, I'm going to try to pyramid and build this position a little bit bigger than just the four contracts, but we'll see what I get. Now, try not to worry about that profit and loss. That's, that's the distraction. <laughs> Pay attention to the price. So we dipped inside that fair value gap just to the left of us. And we went below to take out the relative equal lows that's noted here for the sell side liquidity being taken. So I'm looking for expansion to the upside. Retail sees that as a bear flag. Okay, so they're thinking lower prices. I'm not. Even if I'm wrong about it not going to 4051, I'm confident that we're going to go up into the buy side liquidity that's noted in blue. Okay, so far price looks nice. It's respecting the underlying narrative I'm acting upon. Now I want you to also monitor how I manage my stop loss. Even though I'm trading against the daily bias, the fact that we traded down three times intraday and took out yesterday's low, by doing so, uh, that lack of follow through Kind of like bolsters. I'm going to do two more. Here, trading on to the order block. Okay, so now I have six contracts long, and I'll move my stop up just a little bit underneath that low right there. It should not trade back down into that. If it does, I'm wrong, and that's fine. Why do I feel confident about placing my stop loss there? Because if you look where I have my stop, 
it's basically inside of the lower end of that fair value gap and the old short term high around 930. So I have market structure supporting the idea and we've already taken sell side liquidity out. We're back inside the range between where my stop loss order is and the short term high I have noted for buy side liquidity. So buy side liquidity is the next draw on liquidity. I'll take four of the contracts off. So I'm going to annotate what we're doing here. We're just bumping the order block there. Straighten this line out here. Okay, hold down shift when you're dragging your trend lines in trading view. It'll automatically straighten them out. And that is an order block. Bullish order block is what I'm annotating here. So you can see this is all being done as it happens. I can chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. All right. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that type of movement. So that way we understand what I'm internalizing. What am I seeing? What's likely to pan out? That's what I want. So now I'm going to study to see if price does in fact deliver with that premise in mind. Again, if I'm lucky, it could expand up into that 4051 and a quarter, but I don't need it to because the bulk of the position, which is now six contracts, I'm going to take four off above that buy side liquidity should I get the opportunity to do so. And I'll do it on the basis of a market order. All right, so far we're getting some response off that order block level I've annotated. OCD is flaring. <laughs> I like things the way I like them, folks. All right, nice little caffeine bar there. Caffeine bar is something I named big green candles. If I'm bullish, I want to see that. If I'm bearish and I see it, I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just being a little facetious here. You don't see that type of stuff called before it happens that precise. But it's okay. I'm going to give you some more evidence here today. Now, this is what you want to do also if you're practicing reading order flow, tape reading. Um, you don't have to necessarily put a demo account position on. I'm doing it just simply because a lot of people like to see it. Okay, this is me just making sure you understand that I see this before it happens. Not speaking in waffle -ese where it's hard to tell what I'm saying, what I'm expecting. It's very, very specific. Nothing ambiguous is being hinted at in here. Okay, so sell side has been taken. This is now being dimmed. So that way the focus is on the, the levels that are more pronounced in color. Now see those two down close candles. The higher candle of the two, I'm going to draw an order block on. It can drop down into that, pick up momentum from there, and then the algorithm will likely reprice higher to the buy side liquidity or around that 4036 level. So I'm allowing for and preparing myself should it trade down into that level. It might just touch the higher wick of the two down close candles I'm anchoring to, but I'm using the uppermost opening price as kind of like the level I'm looking for. But that small little wick high it might just touch that and be enough, or it may not even touch it at all. But when you're watching order flow, let me make this a little bit more thicker so you can see it, be able to track what price is doing. Now, this is one of those instances where you're looking for price to kind of like drive higher. You want to do it in like big candles, speed, delivery right to where you're looking for. Traders are now trying to go short because they looked at that imbalance 
at 8.30, the quick sudden drop. The market has come back and rebalanced that. Now it's starting to drift lower. People that follow imbalances and things like that because it's gotten real popular lately. That idea they're trying to sell short on. I'm going against that and I'm targeting them. Okay, so that's a, that's a buy right there. So, order block right there. All right, I would adjust that line, but I've already outlined what I'm saying here. It's basically touched the little wick. So, if I wanted to add one more, which I guess I could, I could buy one here just to prove the point, but it is what it is. Let's assume that this is all we're going to build on. I want to see it rally higher from here. Notice I'm not in a hurry to rush my stop loss up. Very, very nice price delivery there. So think about what's being shown here. The down close candles are supporting price. We're seeing expansion. And where is the bullseye? <laughs> Get me to turn 50. My eyes are not what they used to be, folks. I'm sure if it was a rattlesnake, I'd be bit by now. Uh, there it is. I should have checked my most recent ones at the top. All right, so we'll put that right here. That's our bullseye, okay? And I can bring my stop loss up to break even. Actually, let me get that a little bit higher. And we can see the profit and loss for these guys that like to see those numbers flashing. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take four off when it runs above that high. And then I'll consider moving my stop up and see if I can get lucky the rest of the day. I have things I have to take care of, administrative things and video production. So should we get this run up above? I'm going to close four at market. Okay, just sitting here waiting for it to deliver. And again, those order blocks were drawn real time. You saw it happen. I've outlined it, gave you the logic. And we'll see if we can get some magic. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to... show you the executions here. And we can see the the business. Okay. And I'll leave it up to the market to decide whether or not it wants to go up there and, and take the 40, 51 and a quarter level. It doesn't need to at this point. I've booked over five hypothetical thousand dollars in this example here, reading order flow. And that will be it for this one, I believe. And I'll just change this color here because now it's been fulfilled. And my typical sarcastic ripping. <laughs> I gotta be me. So here is the final. Here is the buying for four thousand six and a quarter and a half. And then buying this here. So the initial was buying the fair value gap sell stops, then the order block, then selling four above here and I moved the stop loss up and it tripped me out right there on the final two. So hopefully you found this insightful until next time. Be safe.